Hello, my name is Navigator. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some things that I picked up over the weekend. I ended up uh, taking a little trip out to Rochester, New York on my way to Buffalo, and I stopped at a place called Bartertown Collectibles. If you guys uh, were checking out my shorts this weekend, I uploaded a uh, little short of me going around the store there, but I did end up picking up some things that I wanted to share with you guys. So we'll uh, kind of do it, I guess... <laughs> I don't know, this order. We'll start with this. This is a custom that I found there at the store. Apparently, some guy had just kind of come in with a bunch of uh, Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe classified customs, whatever. But when I was looking at this figure, I was like, what is this? Who is this? And I looked at the bottom, and I realized these boots were actually from a WWE figure. And at that point, I realized, oh, this must be some kind of custom. Uh, but the guy threw it in with uh, the purchases that I'll, I'll get to here in a second. And uh, I don't know, it's broken here at the waist, though. I snapped it back in, but you can see, yeah, it's broken right there. I'm just going to glue that. And I don't know, for free, I figured it was an interesting thing to have in my collection, so there's that. Next up here with the loose figures, I did get a figure that I've really always wanted. This is a loose ECW Rob Van Dam figure. So when this was in the box, it had the, the ECW logo and everything on it. And uh, I just, I love the ECW toys. I'm a huge ECW fan. And I this was a figure that I really always wanted. This one in like Sandman and New Jack. And that was really about it. But I love the purple and white on there. It just looks awesome. I wish RVD would wear this again in AEW. And speaking of which, there's actually a contest right now uh, going on. Uh, if you go on RVD.com, you can design a, uh, a little, what do you call it? A singlet for him with anything you want. And there's a potential that he'll wear it at an upcoming match. Which means he's having an upcoming match soon in AEW. Which uh, hopefully be really cool or maybe not AEW who knows who knows but he's got an upcoming match soon and that's something to say for a guy his age but regardless the main event here of this video are going to be these guys here in the back I did end up scoring some autographs and I do kind of want to put a little quotation on autographs there of Orange Cassidy and Darby Allen these are not uh you know uh authenticated it's something that I really want to do uh the orange Cassidy I do think is real the signature is just really clean uh the Darby Allen here though this the thing with Darby Allen is he signs his signature like super simply it's a very simple thing and I feel like if you really wanted to replicate it you could so I want to get these authenticated but for now I'm gonna say that these are actual autographs because you know ignorance is bliss so there you go ended up picking up some Darby Allen and uh, orange Cassidy autographed figures these are the only autographs of either of these guys guys that I have and they are two of my favorites so I'm very glad to have them in my collection and I actually got them for 60 bucks each and uh, you might be saying oh it's you know overpriced but looking on eBay they really seem to be going for anywhere from like 80 to 100 so I am very glad and I just really want to get them uh, authenticated so those are the things that I picked up this weekend once again at Bartertown Collectibles in Webster New York just outside of Rochester a little recap we got this little custom an ECW Rob Van Dam figure an autographed Orange Cassidy and an autographed Darby Allen figure. So there you go, folks. That's all I have for you uh, today, and I'm sure I'm going to be having some more reviews this week because I have some more figures coming in this week. With that being said, as always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.